Hey guys and welcome to this week's episode of Minecraft Mod Showcases. This week I have to br I bring you the Sushi Craft. Is it Sushi Craft? I think it's Sushi Craft. Uh, so this mod adds a bunch of new stuff that I'm going to show you real quick. Like it's going to be a short episode as there isn't a lot to show, but I think it was a mod worthy of being shown because I do like mods that add new types of crops. So over here we have a new type of ore that you can actually dig up in your world called salt ore and I'll show you what you can do that for later you can also craft these paper these like Asian paper lanterns and if you hook them up to a redstone and stuff they will light up and then back here we have three different types of crops and then this so what is this this is wasabi a lot of people have heard of wasabi in this mod you cannot actually farm it you have to go looking for it in the world, like sort of like a crafting item in a recipe from like World of Warcraft, if I can make the comparison. Uh, and then we have the three different types of crops. So when you plant these, you actually have to use a new type of block called mud, which is made by combining dirt and water buckets. Three dirt blocks, three water buckets, and you'll get mud. And then you kind of plant a field like this, and it use a scythe which is this thing right here and you'll you just right click on it normally like you would with a hoe and it'll you know make this field plantable and it'll start filling up like these water troughs and stuff just like a regular rice field but this is actually not rice this is soybeans so you plant soybeans this is kelp and rice so kelp I find it interesting, because I'm pretty sure kelp grows underwater, but that's okay, because it's Minecraft, and who really gives a shit? And then, obviously, this is rice over here. So once you've gathered materials for a while from all four of these sources, and then you're like, well, what do I do with this shit? Well, that's where the sushi comes in. So if I open up this chest here, you can see the many different things that I'm going to go over them all here. So you get an empty sushi roll, and you can craft all of this in survival mode. I'm not going to tell you the crafting recipes, because it would take me all day, and that's not the point of this, is to give you an idea. So, empty sushi roll can be made into a salome roll. A uh, salome roll with rice, or a rice-filled sushi roll. A foursome sushi combo. Oh yeah. A salome roll with soy sauce and wasabi sauce. I'm not really sure where you get soy sauce. There, once you harvest the rice, you can cook that rice, combine it with uh, nori leaves, which is what you get from kelp, and make, you know, the classic kind of like weird rice thingy that you see people eating in like animes and whatnot. Uh, apparently you can cook squids now. So you can capture squids like raw and then cook them. And... You can capture fish, I guess, and fillet them. You can make salmon sushi, bacon sushi. Uh, you can get a cook. You can get an egg and cook it, and then make a sushi roll with cooked egg. Bacon sushi with nori belt, which would be a kelp. This is what you get from wasabi, or you you get the wasabi and then make wasabi sauce. You can make TNT sushi. I'm gonna try and eat it and see what it does. Butter sushi and redstone sushi which I can't remember what that one does so I'm not going to eat it uh, from salt ore you get salt and then you can also get, acquire spices and make something with a long name that goes off the screen uh, let's see if I can decide. sushi with nori built and soy sauce and wasabi sauce it's got everything on it butter spelled with two D's instead of T's uh, sushi roll with cooked egg and soy sauce and wasabi sauce you kind of get the gist. Then there's also Keenstone Sushi, which apparently you can acquire a crown from, and then I'm pretty sure you can wear it. Raw fortune cookie, baked fortune cookie, Asian paper, and of course, some sake. Because everybody needs sake. <coughs> oh no, it's nighttime. Well darn. Alrighty. So I'm going to set my game mode to zero. And I'm going to eat this butter. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of regenerated my health. And it does it quite fast. 
Let's see if I can put this crown on. I wish to wear the crown. So now I'm wearing a crown. You can kind of see what it looks like. It's not a bad helmet, to be fair. Now, not really sure what this, what's going to happen when I eat this, but I have a feeling. So it's actually not going to let me eat it. It's interesting. Well, okay. I think if you like eat it, then it like blows up. <laughs> like it heals you, but it blows up. Don't know why it didn't work, but that's okay. Let's see, what's a mini TNT? I don't know what a mini TNT. I think a mini TNT is used to make the TNTs uh, sushi. Hey guys, I know it was short, and I didn't really provide you with a lot of information about the mod, but I just kind of wanted to give you the basics of it. Uh, because those crafting recipes are quite complicated. He's working on a wiki page, though, so it'll be just like the early days of Minecraft when nobody really knew the crafty recipes and went to crafting wiki. Yay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Bye-bye.